So what do you mean by this concept of negative arrogance? Ah, negative, negative arrogance. I am the piece of shit the world revolves around. Sadly, I identified with it and thought, oh God, here we go. Here we go again. It's not, I'm better than everybody. I am worse than everybody else. And a lot of people will identify with, with this at various levels. I mean, I'll, I'll, to the extreme, I mean, I've certainly worked with people and this happens a lot with people who are uh, with, with, with a lot of issues from, from early childhood, uh, a lot of trauma early on, adult human beings will tell you when you get down to that conversation that no i actually have a belief that i am essentially bad there's something fundamentally wrong with me and and I, you know if you ask that person since when is it something you don't know forever i don't remember a time when i didn't feel this way now other people will have different things where they'll say okay well this this happened to me when i was a kid or this happened to me when i was you know, there's this age or that, and, and it became to be a problem. But most of the people who really experience really deep negative arrogance, you know, it's usually the source is usually very, very early on. Part of the reason that, that I, I like to use the term er, negative arrogance is because, because for, for a lot of things, and you know this about me, I mean, first of all, it, in a strange way, kind of lighthearted, it's a way of, of making a little bit of a joke of it. It's like, a, uh, but just getting some humor to it. The idea that, you know, I am, you know, you know, I'm, I am so much worse than you. Uh, you know, oh yeah, how about, I, I'll tell you how bad I am. One of the questions I'll ask people who say they're fundamentally bad, that they're just rot rotten to the core and I always have been is I'll say, do you think there are other people like you? Now, logically, if you believe that you really have to, you have to allow for the fact there to be other people like that. It's like, but people don't want to do that. You know, and so what we're doing a lot of times in 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 therapy and in any kind of personal growth work is we're just trying to, to challenge people's uh, automatic unconscious thinking. And that kind of so hopefully what we do is we shake things up and get people to a place where, you know, Alan and I refer to this a lot of times as reasonable doubt, where we get to a place where we start to to see some of the the, the failings of of our of our, our unconscious thinking when we take a look at it more closely, so that we can begin to think, okay, well, just maybe not you know somebody's listening to us and they're and they identify with this idea that i'm fundamentally bad that there's something wrong with me or i'm worse than other people just want you to consider to begin with the possibility that you may be wrong what's the actual scenario you know like how how are they mistaking themselves if we're not treated the way that you know basically babies are designed to draw the treatment you know the message we need when we land on this earth is is oh we're glad you're here you know we've been looking forward to you being here we're so happy that you're here you will always have a place here with us we're excited to see what you what this little seed that you are grows into reflecting back to the child things about the child not things about me but about the about the child so a lot of times if 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 there's just not information there if if there, if it's just, it's like a a very fogged out mirror you know where like if you even even if you just had a a very de depressed or non-present parent you know somebody who's distracted with their own stuff you're you're still not getting information that, that and so it can get filled in with with different different interpretations as you go along so that's what we that's what we evaluate we kind of want to go back and see what was it like you know what do we know about your early childhood kind of stuff but ultimately you know and i always want people to know this we don't have to figure out everything about your early childhood in order for you to heal what we just need to know is that whatever it is you feel if you feel like you're worse you're the worst thing on the planet there's a reason for that. It's like you're not some freak of nature that, that has that you somewhere that that came from somewhere. And I don't and I don't think I, I think we can make a mistake of, you know, we, it's certainly a mistake to think that, oh, I just came up with that myself. But it's also a mistake to assume that, OK, well, because I feel that way, this means this or that or one thing or another about my parents. It's like, no, not necessarily. We just need to take a look and see what it is. And most importantly, help you understand that you whatever it is you're experiencing, you come by it honestly. Honestly, but we go back to the thing I've talked about a lot, which is reasonable doubt. Maybe not. We people of low self-esteem are so ready to be wrong. If something negative happens within a hundred mile radius, we find a way to take the blame. It must be me, we automatically assume. If we are in conflict and I am me and you are you, then I must be wrong somehow. But there is one subject about which we people of low self-esteem adamantly refuse to admit that we are wrong about. That subject is our own low self-worth. To this belief that we are wrong, bad, and less than, we hold so tightly 
that, that we are wrong, bad. We couldn't possibly have space or energy for anything new, something new and radical. I don't know, like feeling good about ourselves. The truth is we are not bad or less than, and we are wrong far less often than we have previously believed. But when it comes to this belief that we are worthless, admit it, we're wrong. At the risk of sounding um, positive arrogant, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. inspiring that I, uh, that I was able to move away from that into something different. Right, and that's not positive arrogance. It feels like arrogance because it's so far away from what we have experienced in the past. You know, if, if I, I think about it this way, if, if there's a continuum and at one end of the continuum is me feeling like the worst thing on the planet. And at the other end would be the things, you know, somebody who is ultimately just arrogant as hell and thinks they're the greatest thing on the planet. So from my end of the continuum, all I have to move is, is, is a little ways down the continuum toward the positive, And it's going to feel like too much if you say do you deserve good things i go like yeah i deserve it as much as you do i deserve it as much as anybody else not like i deserve it like i deserve an award mm -hmm. for something i've done great it's like it's it's you know that i had a good sponsor that helped me with that one before is he, he, he said he said just think of it as part of humility it's like you deserve it as much as somebody else